Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Savik TV, your home of infotainment. So this is a travel vlog, ladies and gentlemen, and here right now currently in Kano. So whatever you are seeing on your screens right now is Kano, Nigeria. Uh, that is Kano State in Nigeria. But how did we get here? So ladies and gentlemen, this is around 7.30 a.m. and we are at the International Airport of Ilorin or Ilorin International Airport. I think that's the right wording. Yeah, what you see right there just stairs to the plane. So that means a plane is about to approach. So some passengers are about to disembark and you've just seen my air ticket. So I just checked in and I'm about to to move out of Villorin to Kano that I've just shown you in the intro. Yeah, so let's go to Kano, ladies and gentlemen. But how do we get to Kano from Villorin? Apparently, there is no direct flight from Kano to Villorin, so that means rather from Villorin to Kano, so that means we obviously have to fly to where? <laughs> we have to fly to Abuja. And then once we get to Abuja, we can then take another flight to Kano. But how far is Kano from Ilorin? Ilorin is in Kwara State, Nigeria, in the southern part of Nigeria. I think, yeah, Ilorin is in the southern side of Nigeria. And Kano is in the northern side of Nigeria. So Kano happens to be the biggest city in the northern side of Nigeria. So as I said, the stairs were being made ready because the plane was about to come uh, to get here for the passengers to disembark. And there you see passengers are not disembarking from the airpiece flight. And this is the same plane that we'll use to uh, Abuja. So as I was saying, Kano is the biggest city in the north and uh, the distance between um, Ilorin, that is the capital city of Kwara State and uh, Kano, the distance is about 700 kilometers. So if you're traveling by road, it's about 14 hours, 13 hours in some minutes or almost 14 hours if you're traveling by road. So you see, it's quite a distance, but if you are flying, yeah, it's Ilorin International Airport, you see now. So if you're flying, uh, it will definitely take a shorter time, uh, probably uh, yeah, an hour from um, Ilorin to Abuja, and then another one hour from Abuja to Kano. So it's like two hours of flying. Yeah, so we've boarded the plane. So these shots are taken from the plane. And uh, now, what are we doing right here? <laughs> it's called taxiing ladies and gentlemen yeah we are now taxiing you know the plane is getting ready to get to the sky skies so yeah let's taxi let's taxi ladies and gentlemen We're going up, we're going up, we're taking off, and there is the aerial view of Ilorin City. There is the aerial view of Ilorin City as we take off. Mwalimu wa math, hapa ni wafi, ama ni mwalimu wa geography. We're in the skies, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, man, we are in the skies, the blue skies, and the clouds i don't know which clouds are these nimbus whatever cumulus all those clouds that we learned in geography so the geography teacher can easily assist us in telling us which clouds these are yeah one so let's keep let's keep let's keep souring in the skies and uh, you know yeah let's enjoy the flight so the way once again ensure that you carry on baggage safely stood in the bad locker so well under the city in front of you if your window blind is closed please open it now 
and for those may have turned on their personal electronic devices, we will no longer be used at this time. Yo, we just had a call from the air hostess, so we are about to land, and that's the aerial view of Abuja. So we are about to land in uh, Abuja International Airport. I think it's called Ezikiwe something. I have forgotten the name. Yeah, so we are about to land in Namdi Ezikiwe uh, International Airport, Abuja. So you see the rocks in Abuja. I have forgotten the names of these rocks, man. These rocks are very, you know. They're the very key uh, monuments, so to say. <laughs> yeah, um, they, they are really monumental in uh, uh, Abuja. Like any time, they, they signify the city, so you can see the rocks at a distance. So yeah, we are about to land. We are about to land, and there we are, man. We've touched the ground. We've touched the ground. In Nigeria, they say we are on the ground. You know, yeah, we've just touched the ground, and there you go, there you go. We are in uh, Namdi Ezikiwe International Airport in Abuja. So, we thank God for the good flight. It was nice, you know. Uh, nothing, not bumpy at all. Um, basically, it has been a good flight. I didn't even sleep. <laughs> the distance i mean it's just one hour so yeah we did enjoy we did enjoy so welcome to abuja abuja is actually the capital city of uh, nigeria abuja is a planned city so the way it was built it's really beautiful uh, it was built in these hills and all that you know so the scenery the landscape is very beautiful and uh, it's a city that uh, is very touristic so to say uh, like from where i sit it's very touristic it's very clean very green also it, and then the buildings are just you know to a given level it does not have a lot of skyscrapers skyscrapers and all that so it's really a beautiful uh, beautiful city so welcome to abuja the rocks you can see uh, the view from that point you know i say the rocks are really good they're very very beautiful and uh, yeah man uh, abuja is beautiful so welcome to abuja nigeria ladies and gentlemen yeah is about to come to a stop so it's just looking for a good <laughs> disembarking spot or a good parking spot for us to disembark the plane and there we are there we are so we're getting closer there and um, after disembarking i have like uh, six hours <laughs> before the next flight to Canada, so i'll spend quite some time in this uh, airport because again i don't want to leave uh, i once risked and i missed a flight so i don't want to risk so i'll not leave i'll just uh, hang around the airport till my next flight that is six hours away so this is about 9 a.m the next flight is, uh, is that 3 p.m so between 9 and 3 p.m i'll just uh, I'll just hang around, probably watch a movie or two, you know, just keep myself busy as I wait for the next flight to go to the next destination. Yeah, man, it's taking time <laughs> for the plane to pack. <laughs> yeah, it's taking time for the plane to pack. But you know what? I mean, uh, everything has to happen perfectly. So patience pays and I gotta be patient, you know. Yeah, I gotta be patient before we get to that point so i really um if you've watched this video to this far ladies and gentlemen thank you so much please give the video a like and drop a comment please subscribe if you're yet to and you know it's road to 5k we've about 200 subscribers to get to 5000 so uh it'll really appreciate if you subscribe and get us there you know yeah so when you see that luggage carrier getting close to a, to the plane you know that we are at a stop now so yeah we are at a stop so let's go 
so we've just disembarked and you know I just <laughs> I just have to you know have my own kind of selfie video to show <laughs> to, to, to just remember these memories sometime later in life you know yeah so a lot of uh, us have just landed in Abuja so we're now heading to what do I call it yeah we're going to pick our luggages yeah so we're getting into the do I call it waiting area yeah to just pick our luggages and you know proceed so for me I'm no I'll just pick my luggage and hang around for others of course they'll just pick their luggages and leave uh, you know depending on whatever everyone wants to do yeah so you can see there are planes from different companies I used airpiece to get here but of course there are a lot there are a lot of uh, you know local travel companies local flights in nigeria a lot of companies max air with uh, uh fly jet fly jet <sighs> ipom air whatever there's nigerian airways a lot of these doing local uh, flights and then of course you know the nigerian regalia people will always dress well the only undoing i had with this flight man I, I, they are really uh, cautious on weight and they really charge a lot of money uh when you carry extra weight so yeah that, that's the only undoing yeah, so we are at the bay now waiting to collect our luggages and yeah from there we'll now see the next move so these are the arrival side these are the arrival side yeah and once you leave here you'll now shift to the uh, departure side since i have another flight to go so i'll now again switch to the departure side to go and wait for the next flight there yeah so six hours later guys here we are i've checked in for the next flight to kano and here i am going down the stairs to board my next flight now to kano six hours later <laughs> man i've really been i've really had a hard time waiting yeah so um i don't know what those are called but they used to you know uh, embark on the plane so i've actually got into a, a bus a, a small bus that will uh, uh, get us to the plane so airpiece is right there the, the the company that i used before so yeah we are in a we're in a small bus that is actually driving us down to uh, the plane that we'll use so this this time around i'm actually going to use uh, what we call um maxi air maxi air that's what i'm gonna use to kano city in kano state nigeria in the northern side of nigeria and yeah there is the company that we we'll use so the bus has just got us there going back the plane of course i haven't shown much about the plane but here we are <laughs> disembarking an hour later once we uh, we've landed in kano so yeah we're going down we're going down we're going down uh we're disembarking and man the flight was good the food was nice too yeah it's about 4 p.m now so welcome to kano ladies and gentlemen yeah so um, let me just give you a tour around the airport these are the airport looks like it's it's busy it's a busy airport <laughs> it's a busy airport yeah it's it's an international airport too okay at least that is the name they have given it but i don't think you can use it to travel internationally but i i think i saw a lufthansa a lufthansa plane here yeah so yeah but basically that's it that's the kano airport that is the kano international airport so welcome welcome to kano let me show you around guys let me show you around let me show you around what is the name of this airport is called i mean uh, yeah I, I i i i forgot to capture the name <laughs> yeah man as usual we gotta come around to collect luggage so yeah i'm here to collect my luggage right now yeah man it's a vlog talking can be too much sometimes but we gotta i just gotta explain everything that is happening so bear with me bear with me ladies and gentlemen yeah of course we're here to collect luggage again so this is my final destination so from here definitely is to just move to my hotel so i'm here just to pick my luggage so i've just seen my luggage and uh, definitely i'll 
I I I I love to pick it and you know the video gets cut short at that point. My bolt is here ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. Let's go to my hotel. So as we go to the hotel of course we'll have you know we'll we'll, we'll just check out Kano. How is Kano? How does it place look like? So yeah. Let's enjoy. Let's enjoy. Uh maybe a sneak peek. Let me call it a sneak peek of Kano City as we leave the airport and uh, yeah maybe a subsequent vlog after this i'll get to show you how kano city looks like maybe you can see two or three iconic places in kano you know how we normally do it guys i'll definitely show you a bit of this place so yeah keep me uh, rather keep supporting me i love and, uh, i love such you i love exploring you will definitely get to know more about this northern city I only fun, fun. yeah so let's enjoy remember to subscribe but definitely because the whole thing is growing hi badan is big no because there is something in badan mm. only badan are a lagos guys now Yes, most of the companies, huh? are the one, as most as of the companies in Lagos are the ones that have now opened. Open by then. But because for you to, to move your product out of Lagos, from the main Lagos is, is another wahala. But that's also what they are coming to by then. So they are a little bit outside. Yeah, Ibadan is growing fast. Yes, because of Lagos now. But now, when when I research, I see Kano like the space Kano occupies is very huge. It's very huge. Yes, Kano Town, Kano City. Let me, let me, I know Lagos because I can't give you uh, specific reason, but I can tell you if you divide Kano into four, mm -hmm. the one side of four is now equal to Lagos. Equal to Lagos. So, uh, anyway, but I don't mean the whole town says no. The metropolitan town. Mm -hmm. If you divide Kano meter, Kano city population and area into four, pick one. Lagos is the whole Lagos city. You know, accommodate that one. Yeah, I think Lagos is just like it because of the location. Yes. Being at the port, all these things. I think that is what makes it. Yes. So everyone, you know, everyone runs to Lagos to look for work now. That's where the work is. That's where that everything is, is coming high. from to Nigeria. Everything you want to import, export. Mm -hmm. That's where you are going. So the population there is huge. In Lagos? Hi. Sometimes in the minds of people. No, they are, they are Lagos is rich. Not like not everyone in Lagos is rich. I wonder, what, I mean, what do you mean by rich? There's not many people to have to, one million or billion of their hand. They are living by rich. The people living around uh, in that community have access to good facilities for their living. Uh, that was in the rich. Yes, true. Healthcare, better yes. healthcare, better Education, roads. roads. Ability to eat good food. But pay. I still doubt. You saw recently when it rained, Lagos was flooding everywhere. Lagos will. It was flooding everywhere yeah, when it rained. <laughs> the roads are not. Yeah, Lagos, Lagos is flooding. Why people are sticking to Lagos? Mm. The opportunity there is big. Yeah, opportunity is big. That I agree. Opportunity is big. Otherwise, what's there big in Lagos? They are hill flooding, all are no big road. What's there big there? But because people have big money, that's why they are making the town be good. Though nowadays traffic is not as much as it used to be before. Ah, because civil servant and the moderate chiefful are extracted out of the road. Yes, now they can't afford to buy fuel. <laughs> yes, that's why that's why the traffic reduced. Yes, now before if you go back to before something removal, you can buy in a month if you can fill your tank for two times, like my this car. That means I will spend like twenty three thousand in a month for fuel. But for me to make a full time for this same car right in this now. station, yeah. I have to spend 80,000 80, for two full car. How much am I going to keep running and spending it while we are buying rice at 60,000 naira or something? Life expenses and inflation. Right. People cannot afford. But the difference between here and there, I know, I know, I know Lagos very well. And I'm going as one year, going on a school year. That's why I'm not can see the discrepancies. Even before this situation we are, if you are living in Lagos, moderately average people that are any, they can afford to eat a good food, buy a water, table water, not that certain water, buy a bottle water, 
100 nera chon na drink tas wota it like 1000 or 2000 nera the the driver who uh, got me to Ilorin airport this morning yeah. was telling me the same thing most of the ball drivers in Ilorin are running to Lagos they have to they have to you know yeah, because... you know i can i know there are three from one trip in Lagos you can end like 14000 is it in top of one person the same argument he was making he told me the same same thing 8000 for the same person <laughs> So do you have like an association to negotiate with Bolt to review terms here? We have been doing it severally. Mm. Do you know what they claim? Mm. You know what they make in Lagos and Abuja in a day? They cannot make it in Kano in a week. But same thing in Ilori. That is what the same statement I was told this morning. Okay. What someone in, our, in Abuja or Lagos earns in a day, it takes more than a week. A week for someone in Ilori to take it. It was the same in Karo. Uh -huh. So, if you are, like, I'm taking in terms of business owner. Uh -huh. If you are a, if you are a board owner now, where would you concentrate on? What you make in Karo, you make it, it take, take you seven days for you to make what you make in Lagos in Abuja one day. Then you have to concentrate in Lagos and Abuja of course. So that's why they, they don't care with us here. Even the Bolt. Oh, so as business owners, Bolt pays more attention to... to why they're making money? Uh, they don't care with us. But, uh, but, sir, but in terms of sales, before in Abuja, the right is 3,300 3, as, it, as it is in Kano. But this is inflation and the price of uh, almost uh, a You make it minimum uh, airport trip in Abuja, 9,300. Minimum. So, what do you expect for Kano one to be? Let's be sincere. Even if you are not the same, why you, how much do you expect it to be? At least they should have, if they tripled Abuja, they we should have doubled. from 3,000 to 9,000. 9, that is triple now. Triple. So yeah. how much do you expect for the car one to be? Why we are buying the same fuel, we are using the same car, we are doing everything. Nothing different for us. If you divide us, say, the category of people that can afford Abuja are like different. So how much do you expect food for us in Kano? They should at least have doubled it. At least double. Yeah. To make it 6,000. Yeah. So they do not. We have complained, complained. They never care with us because they, they never make big money from us. But if you explain to somebody, somebody who are not raising things, when you will see an app joint tradition, you will stick to say, why is the same person pay for the same trip in, a, in Lagos, 10,000, for the same distance that I'll cover? So you come to another state, somebody using the same car, the same phone. We are covering the same distance by actually changing 2000. Somebody claimed to for 6000. We are denying you, saying you know you're right. You know, we want that, want that, that same, that me to die. That man to leave. It's common sense, people. Yeah, I, I totally understand you, actually. It's common sense. That's why we are, for us to endure this business here, we have to be patient. Patient, very well patient. Staff. <laughs> it's a tough business. Yes. People will tell you so many what. Yesterday I picked one girl. From the time she entered my car, she talked very late. So many things. Anyhow. I don't I don't talk. I don't mind. Why my why my man go to talk to drop her? Tell him my money I'll go. Because she took she took 20 minutes with me, check parallel, parallel. I don't take her. Finally, she know I am educated a little bit. But she, why because I do not argue? She now finally say, why did you not respond? Mm -hmm. So I say, if it's a time of argument or anything else, I don't know what I will do. But in this time around, I am stick, I stick to my target. Let me drop you, collect my money for proceed. Because I have a target to meet. I target to meet of. <laughs> if you make if you if making me upset, mm -hmm. yes, will, actually your day will be messed up. Yeah, of course now. <laughs> That's why I said she gave love. Say I should. <laughs> so you, you just you stay it. calm, you just stay cool because you know. Finally, we settle. Yeah, we settle. She called me again to come and pick up. We now settle ourselves. Oh, <laughs> so she became now. Hey, my friend, my uh, my client. Uh, that's fine. This life has to be extraordinary. Let me not forget where we are going. I don't care, bro. I don't care. Right.
friend of mine told me that is where I should sleep. Uh, I think it's good. And the standard there is it's good. If you if you pay for their 20, maybe the minimum one they have is 20 or 20. 20, 20, 20 something like that. The same the problem standard. Is it's expensive now. Eh? <laughs> No, that no. one is not small. That one is a minimum. Yeah. Yeah, but I, oh, I maybe just... Maybe go tired. Oh, bon. No. Ladies and gentlemen, after that long talk, you know, having all that uh, fun, discussing things here and there, different topics with my guy, the Bolt guy, we go to the hotel and, you know, yeah, it is actually a nice place. It looks very beautiful. Yeah, let's get in and maybe you can have a room tour, you know, to just check how the place looks like and, yeah do our own assessment and see is it really worth it uh, is it worth the hype let's go you can put your shoes in there Okay, there is a place where you can drop your shoes. Yeah, so as you come in, of course, you've got your washroom right there. Oh, man. Ah, your towels right there, of course, your hot shower. Yeah, that's where you stand, get your hot shower. That's what the place looks like. Nothing much, nothing fancy, really. Yeah, of course. There you go, there you go, there you go. You got your mirror right there, of course where the entire action happens of loading, <laughs> clearing and forwarding. Yeah, man, basically, uh, that is how brief this place, you know, looks like. It all begins from that point, right, that way. And of course, we proceed to the room and get to check out. Of course, there's another mirror. You can get to check out yourself. <laughs> Yeah, man, there's that whole thing. And then, of course, you know, the wardrobe right there. Oh boy. Yeah, nothing, nothing much. A very fancy seat right there. Yeah. Yeah, of course, my bag. There's a table. Marble, eh? <laughs> it's a marble table. You know, yeah, and then of course we got our TV right there. Um, then you get in. There's that table right there, of course. What do you have here, man? Uh, tea bag, milk, sugar, coffee right there. Of course, you your water, your kettle to you know ensure that everything is in order. Yeah, you know your remote controls and everything. So things are things are happening. You got your uh, guest guest book right there. You got your calendar. <laughs> yeah, well, and then of course you got your seat to ensure that you're very very comfortable. You know when doing your stuff. So that's that's how it looks like, man. And then of course, man. Check out that, check out that. The lights at the bedside, man. The lights are so nice. The lights are so nice. And then, of course, the bed, man. It's a king size. It's a king size bed. Yeah, so that's the size, man. You get to see, that's it. Sometimes you just want to check out. Nothing is in there. You gotta be sure. <laughs> And of course, man, you gotta have the phone right there in case of anything, in case you need anything. You gotta check it out. Oh, of course, my suitcase right there. Save it. 
Yeah, man. And this is another. Yeah, you check it out. It's also very, very calm. It's very cool. You see. Yeah. So basically, that's it. And then there's some very nice art right here. Let me try to zoom the art from afar so that we check we check it out fully. There's the art. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, this is. Of course, there are the curtains. The lighting in here is not very good, actually. So maybe that's the only undoing. The lighting is not very good, but it's supposed to give that cozy feeling, so it's it's nice, I guess. Yeah. So basically, that's how the place looks like. So welcome to Kano, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. These are. Uh, it's thirty-two thousand naira. It's called R and K Guest Palace. R and K Guest Palace. So it's that two thousand naira per night. That's roughly let's say five K Kenyan shillings. Uh, yeah, it's about thirty-two dollars. They are about. Yeah, about thirty-two dollars. Yeah. So there we go, guys. That's it. That's it. So welcome to Kano. And uh, you know, let's have the best of time here. I'll keep you posted as more videos get to drop. Bye bye.